Let's go. Hey guys, my name is Noe Lama, and I'm here with. Bernie, yes, guys, I'm here with a collab video with Annoying Llama, as I've promised before. Um, I'm going to be playing Happy Worlds, and then he's going to be playing, uh, I think, World of Warcraft. Am I correct? Goddamn right I am. Yeah, uh. he is. Uh, anyways, <laughs> uh, yeah, we aren't really in the same game right now, um, because it's pretty late, and we both need to go to sleep soon. We can both have school tomorrow. But anyways, um, we're going to be talking a little bit right now. And I'm going to play this time Happy Wars, I mean Happy Wheels, why do I keep saying that? I, will, I might actually post that later, I don't know. But anyways. Do they have Happy Wars for a computer? Like PC? Um, I don't think so. If they did, I don't think I'd play it. <laughs> it doesn't really matter. <laughs> it's a lot better on <laughs> the Xbox One. I don't know, I'm not really about that. And, <laughs> so today on our video, our like, is this like our first collab video? But it doesn't really matter. Yeah, well, <laughs> my bad, my dome is kicking in. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, um, it's not really our first. We have videos on your channel, uh, but I guess on my channel it is our first, pretty much official one. Because uh, in that time you were only recording and I wasn't. I was just like a. A newbie, random in there. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. So I guess, yeah, this is one of our very first collabs that I guess I've promised my viewers. Oh, oh my god. The fuck was that? There's so much lag. Oh my gosh, never mind. Okay, <laughs> I forgot. Um. You, you okay? Oh! Uh, true, I don't know, uh, you can continue with your gameplay and all that, um... Sweet. <laughs> um... What happened was this night, I forgot that I can't record anything, or anyone can't record, unless you have a god computer, which is like this pure gaming computer, but I don't think that'd work either. But, since I'm rendering, especially a 3D, uh, video, my FPS is completely lowered, because it uses almost every single piece of that FPS or speed in the computer so it can actually um, render the video as fast as possible. So oh. I can't record right now. It's all good, man. But you can continue with the game uh, recording. I hope you didn't stop it. Oh, fuck no. Oh, God. I'm still recording. Okay, good. Um, I don't know if you guys can still hear me. I, I hope you guys can. Oh, they can hear you perfectly from okay, my screen. Okay, good. Because, like, I'll just be playing. Um, I can't record. That's actually perfect because it's okay because I have backup um, gameplay and I'll just use that. Um. So let's talk about life. Let's just talk about fucking life, bro. Like. And I stopped my recording. I don't know why. <laughs> oh, you don't. Come back. I'll just be playing some Happy Woods, I guess. It's um, okay. Just yeah. restart the recording. You can just render it into the video in general, like. Yeah. No, I just stopped my voice recording and I stopped the recording on the screen. So I don't know. Anyways, let's just continue with this video. Um. So yeah, I'll just start off. I'll start off from here. Um, yeah. So guys, I got a fucking girlfriend. It's fucking awesome. Yeah, she's fucking hot. She's like a Russian model. Ugh, ugh. Yeah, she's fucking yeah, awesome. I, I can't do that little like. Ugh. There you yeah. go. <laughs> ugh. God, I'm so good at that. I did that to my freaking uh, what do you call that? My um, success in a teacher name is Bernard. God, I hope she doesn't see this video because I'm gonna say some. Re I'm gonna say I'm gonna say some mean shit, Alan. You, you making fun of her? No. <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna say some mean shit as an. I'm gonna hit on her. <laughs> I'm gonna hit her on this video. I don't. I, hopefully, Brie. Okay, so I'm gonna say this to. If I'm gonna show this video to my girlfriend anyway, so um, Brie, if you're watching this, this is what this is what I've been thinking before I met you. So I hope we can talk about this, and I don't, I, of course, I will get rid of these feelings. I just got to get it out of me. So, Bree, when you're watching this video, this is not how I feel at the moment. I'm just getting it out of me right now. But, yeah. oh my god. <laughs> Alan, top, we, need, we need to get on the top of hot teachers right now. Hot teachers. All right, what was Miss Audi? Haha, <laughs> I swear, oh. watch your students video, <laughs> I'd be so embarrassed. Oh god, wait, are you, are you, wait, 
Well, you you can't be in her class, bro. Like, wait, what? I am in her class. Yeah. Wait, what math do you have? Huh? What type of math do you have? No, I failed first try. Oh. Oh yeah. shit. Damn. Yeah, that, I'm only redoing first try for one B. That was it, which sucks. But no, yeah, I'm in, I'm in jail. <laughs> well, we're gonna say some shit. Miss Audie is. I should be shit. Out, but no, I gotta be truthful with my viewers. Yeah, we gotta be truthful to our viewers. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not stupid. I just felt for try because I didn't give a fuck about my senior. I mean, I'm a senior. Fuck my sophomore and my freshman year. I give no fucks, even though I still pass. With amazing grades. Like legit, my sophomore and yeah, my sophomore. I barely came to school for half the year. Are you shitting me? I, and I still passed. They were like, "How'd you come to school for half the years, half of the days of school, and you still pass with like A's and B's?" And I'm like, you know, because I'm smart like that. I'm <laughs> smart like that. <laughs> and they're like, you know, we're not supposed to give you credit. Like, they weren't supposed to give me credit. And they still did it just because I passed. And I had my grades. And so, yeah. I had 3.3s all there, but let's get on back on the topic of hot teachers. Yeah, like, let's get back on topic. Who, who else te in your eyes is a good hot teacher? To be honest, like, I think my very first, like, high school teacher that I thought was actually pretty fun... Mrs. Schaefer. Oh, oh. Mrs. Schaefer. You know me. She's Greg so nice, though. It, I she feel so bad her. saying it, though. I like, feel so bad. Like, she's so nice. She's such a nice teacher. She is like, oh, my God. Like, she's, she's fine, so nice, though. Like, like, she can dress, and even though she makes her own clothes, like, she's pretty talented. Very talented. Um, I, I was like, roses are red, violets are blue. All I want to know is what that mouth do. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Me and the freshman, the freshman year. And she's always like, how are you, Ellen, and all this and that. I'm like, it's good. How about you? <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you all I want to do is I want to say how to duty to your fruity. <laughs> oh. A little too far. <laughs> I, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Um, anyway. Miss Bernard, for me, she's a my success in her. Oh my god, she's single. One, two, she's around like 23. I have four. not seen her yet. She has. She is fine as hell. She has a nice ass. She has big boobs. And I'm like, D I know. Now, this topic might, if it might, it might get some, uh, if people do watch this, Alan, it might get some, uh, you know, like, rage because you know it's like come on you can't just objectify women you know just because they work there you know they just because they look good you can't just always say it but um god we're just getting at doing anything at least we're just like keeping it to ourselves and a lot of people i'm pretty sure have done it like people like have them hot teachers and people have already fucked their own teachers i'm pretty sure yeah a lot of people have teachers to be honest yeah, if we're just getting it out of our system. So, guys, if you guys feel anything bad about this, comment below on the video. Yeah. But still. What you think? <laughs> <laughs> but like, yeah, like you know, te put it, put it in the comments like you know your hot teacher you've known for a while, and if you talked about hey, I got away, I also fucked my hot teacher. We, we might have to have a talk. But still, um, <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, like we like Miss Bernard, just she's just the best. I mean, she is just hot. Oh my god. And there is like I I've called her hot in class before. She no. she oh, yeah. You <laughs> called her hot in class. Yeah. Her? I called my teacher hot in class, yes. Did she hear you? Yes, she heard me. Oh. Full on heard me. And you know what she's in? She said, I heard you, and then she walked away while swaying her ass. Not shitting you. That was the best day of my life. That was the day before my girlfriend asked me out. I hope she doesn't get mad. I hope you don't get mad, Bree. Bree, don't get mad at me. Um, yeah, but... <laughs> Oh my god. Bruh, let's hope. Uh, uh, we should probably compare girlfriends, bro. Like, what, like, what do you see your girlfriend in your own eyes? Because you've been. I heard you've been dating her for a long time. Yeah, I've been dating my girlfriend for two years and. Uh, let me see. Two years and I think five months. Holy fuck. Talk about dedication. April, April 28th. She was like, 
Oh my god, I think it wasn't recording. Question, why are you in band? That's the question I always wanted to ask you. What? Why are you in band? Oh, because I'm in drumline. Why are you in drumline? Because I like playing drums. Oh, okay. I was just wondering. I was like, I was like wondering, like, like, do you like you in band? How is band? And all this. And I have a lot of friends who are like, no, I can, like, they hate it because they have to get up at, like, early bird band and all that and get up really early to practice for no reason. Apparently you guys practice for like eight hours straight or something like that. Or something like that. I don't know. But I was like, hmm. I used to play instruments. I used to play eight instruments. But now I, like, I guess I stopped. And then I don't remember how to play anything except for like a couple notes on like different instruments. But yeah. But yeah. Anyway, random fact. <laughs> yeah, yeah, my stuff like stopped recording for some reason. And then, like, I just had to restart it, so I don't know how much I missed. <laughs> I'm still recording. <laughs> <laughs> Screw you! <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, that's cool. I got a new toy on World of Warcraft. You got a new toy. I know you got toys in World of Warcraft. Yeah, you get toys and stuff. They do random stuff. So I got a dancing tree. You guys are dancing tree. That's yeah. amazing. I wish I had a dancing tree. Yep. It's a dancing tree. Oh, it's a dancing tree. I'm gonna dance with it. <laughs> dancing tree. <laughs> what? Yeah. I've got a dancing tree. I think I probably missed the whole conversation. If I did on the in this video, miss the whole conversation of, oh yeah, hot teachers. Sorry about that, guys. We will get back to that later. I'll talk about that on another video. In the meantime. Let's get to the fact that, hey guys, that's what, we got girlfriends, we're kicking ass, and we're taking names, because that's how we do it. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah, girlfriends are the best. I mean, like, I've been lonely for so long, Alan. I mean, like, last year's the last time I ever had my girlfriend, my ex-girlfriend. She cheated on me. Um, oh, oh, yeah, I remember, I remember you were talking about it in yep. the video yep. uh, on Morphin. Um, guys, if you want to check that video out, which we had a whole conversation, I don't think you could hear me. But uh, a troll talked about this the whole time. Uh, it's on his YouTube channel. I think it was on Warframe. I don't know what you I forgot what you named it. It was something about it. I forgot. But um, <laughs> I remember the whole conversation. I, I mean, I forgot what the like the name of the video was. But, yeah, it's on his channel. If you want to check that out, check it out. Anyways, let's continue. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. Uh, having a girlfriend is awesome, man. Like, it's the best. Like, what it. It's just like, yeah, as I said, I've been seeing single for so long, and then like I'm so used to it with checking out girls, you know, helping other people out with their relationships. Like Brianna, like, I my, my, I'm still like I get the things. My bad for cutting you off. But no, I no, you're good. That. Like, um, I've had, I've told everyone about this, about whoever like talks to me about their relationships and all that, and I was like, okay, I don't want you for you to happen to this, and then I told them what happened because. All the time, I've had, I've always helped out relationships, helped them out, like, get this thing straight, you know, get over the fact that they have these little problems, and that they need to grow the fuck up, because it's stupid, and then you guys are going to ruin, uh, ruin your relationship. And that's how maturity comes up, and that's how you grow your relationships, but, um, I know you, people are like, well, you learn off of what happened, off of your mistakes and all that, and I, I know that it sucks, and it's true, but it's really fucking stupid, because during that, you guys are going to hurt each other, and then you guys are going to regret it. And then it's really just fucking pointless in the end. So I've helped people with their relationships, and then I've had these parts, like these moments, to where one of them has broken up with the other, and then they come to me and be like, I want to be with you because you make me feel secure on how maybe our relationship could be if we had one. And so they want to be with me, and I've had this similar thing with girls and guys that come up to me and mm. tell me that you want to be with me, and I'm like, no, okay, well, first oh. of all, I'm not gay. Second of all, <laughs> you know, Dale, I have a girlfriend. Third, you're goofy as fuck. Why would you do that after I just helped you, like, get your relationship on point? And then, fourth, <laughs> like, I have to go help them get them back with each other and explain to them that I, I was never trying to put this in your head that I want to be with you after helping you out. I'm helping you out because I'm a friend of yours and that you guys need the help because obviously that you two couldn't manage with just each other because you were guys were putting bullshit in the way of actually at your actual true feelings as you could say so yeah that's that's my real story and how that's been going on for me but yeah i still help people out even to this day and recently i'm helping out i don't know if you knew Lindy. 
Oh, oh Limney? Oh. Yeah, fuck them because him and Dahlia broke up. And I guess they were having, they had this thing with him. He recently told me, because I went to church with him, and um, he recently told me, I think two days ago or yesterday, and he's like, yeah, he messaged her on Kick because he didn't expect her to reply. He messaged her, he like called her some words and then said some things, and then she replied saying, wow, and then apparently I think um, she, he thinks that she sent him a uh, paragraph on everything after what he said. And then we were talking about his relationship and all that, how that's going, and then um, I'm helping him, I guess, I, unless I already fixed it, I don't know, I, we still need to check up on, I still need to check up on him, but um, that he's going to move on and that he shouldn't even been thinking about her anymore, don't even think about it, You're, you need to get over her and everything. You know, you've learned a lot from her and then she's learned a lot from you and she knows her, consequ uh, her consequences on what's actually going to go on after right. she's been dating now. Uh, Apparently a bad person who's like some drunk dealer or something like that, and yeah. That should that should be another um, topic we should talk about later. He's trying to put her into that good girl status because he's making a decision that's not so good. Like he tried to change her to become a better person, but she didn't want to listen, and she like legit right after she broke up with Lindley, she found a new guy. Wow, and that's so fucked also up. Lindley was like, "Wow, so she's gonna find someone right quick." Like, after she breaks him, so, I guess she was making him win the assignment, Ooh. I guess, and I mean, it's not, it's something rare, it's pretty much happens a lot, actually, and we always take it for granted, in a way, of other people. <laughs> That's yeah, true. <laughs> My bad for taking all that. No, you're good. But yeah, yeah, those are my little stories. So yeah, I have a lot more, but just, we'll just have that little one for now. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, what about you? <laughs> <laughs> Brad, I've been, I've I've been good, you know. Like I I've I've been trying, you know. Life is good. Life is sweet. I just think I'm for a food, amen. But still, uh, like I've I've been like on the shit rails like lately. Like the whole thing I was talking about. This is a thing we need to bring up to a lot of people on YouTube. And hold on one second, I gotta stop the video and restart. Okay, so I'm gonna rent this. this one. Okay, guys, I'm back. Um, this is a topic I need, really need to talk about. And you already know what I'm probably gonna say, Alan. But when you. Ch okay, so I'm gonna start this off like this. I'm I'm going to say the friend's name. You know, fuck, I'm not gonna say the name because just, I just feel bad if I do. So. So just say the name? Yeah, just say Okay, so I have a friend named Olivia. And she was, you know, they were, she was, him, her and my friend Martez were liking each other. So, as, you know, knowing me, I'm the guy to help them out. So I did. Helped them out. They got together. Long ass relationship. I helped them out with their whole problems. You know, I was like their fucking counselor and shit. It, it was nice. It was nice. And she met a guy named Jay. She always kept, like, talking about, oh, he has nice hair and shit. And I'm like, Olivia... What it sounds like is that you're falling more for this guy because Martez was going through some hard times and he was going through some bad times. He wasn't oh, talking to Olivia. Huh? What it still really wanted to say, Olivia, you're becoming a hoe. <laughs> yes, exactly what's happening. Bitch, you ratchet. Bitch, you ratchet. It's true. I'm not lying. It's true. I'm not going to lie. Keep it real. True that. So, um, yeah, she started talking about this guy named Jay. And I'm telling her, like, he, she's texting this dude over and over again. He, he even said, he even said, like, she wants, like, she's like, oh, we should probably hang out. And he was like, no, because if we do, I'm going to do something. And I know it's going to be bad. I don't want to ruin any relationships. For him to say that was the manliest thing on the planet. I was like, that motherfucker knows how to control himself. He knows that he can't control himself. So he knows that if he hangs out with her, something's going to happen. And I told Olivia, you know, it's best not to hang out with him. It's gonna be a bad idea. Uh, just trust me on this. It's gonna be a bad idea. What the fuck does this bitch do the next day? Oh, I'm gonna go up to him, go hang out with him, and go have sex with him. And she did. She had sex with him. I didn't know this until I fucking woke up. And like, I literally get this. I, like, it's, it was an hour ago she texted me this. So I'm looking at the fucking text message. She says, Oh my god, HR, I did something bad. <laughs> Long story short, she fucked the dude. 
she fucked the dude, and then she tried to tell me, but like, Martez and I are best friends, like best best friends forever. And uh, <laughs> oh my god, oh my god, I mean a lot, god. <laughs> <laughs> but still, like, she she tried telling me, Atro, do not tell Martez about this. This is between me and you. I'm like, fuck you, you cunt. <laughs> I'm, I'm like, I, I told her, oh, don't worry, I'm not going to tell Martez. What do I do the next day? I fucking tell Martez. You know why? Because I don't betray... Uh, well, more, one thing, Mar Olivia's white. It's just by the name, it sounds like a white person. And Martez is black. So I want to state this clear so I get this you know, clear to you guys. I don't let down my fellow man. Like my my fellow my fellow brothers out there, I don't let you guys down. I don't care who the fuck you are. If you are white and you try to tell me not to do something, I, I will tell you fuck you. Go fuck yourself. You go you know go go shit in yourself because I don't give a fuck about you. I don't give a fuck about you. My brothers out there like you, Alan. Yeah, the, those are the motherfuckers I care for. So if something happens, I will be there for you. And I did that for Martez. Because, you know, he did the exact same thing for me when my girlfriend was cheating on me. So, uh, yeah. Well, just today, well, it should be yes yesterday because, you know, it's 12 o'clock now. Uh, just in a way yesterday, she fucking says, like, oh, my God, Atrell. By the way, long, and Martez also took it back, too. So that's the dumb part about Martez, he, he took back Olivia, and so, um, yeah, it, this, this shit fucking happened, I got pissed off, cause like, you took back a girl that fucking cheated on you, and I was like, Olivia, you ratchet, fuck you, and so, <laughs> so, um, yeah, and, um, yeah, then Olivia starts complaining about, oh my god, our relationship is bad, you know, I don't know why, and I'm like, really, like, you don't know why, why did you Yeah, bitch, you just you, you cheated on a guy and you think it's everybody's just gonna fucking forget that? Get you a blind or no? <laughs> <laughs> Get your fucking skinny, scrying looking ass, no ass looking girl fucking ass. Get your no ass looking ass out of here. Shit. Uh, <laughs> I can't even put it into fucking like any, anything really. <laughs> but like, she started complaining, like, well. You know, I don't, I told her, it's like, you know, we got, you know, the, mainly because your relationship is going bad, is mainly, you know, because of the issue you did, and I, I fucking capitalized issues to let her know, by the way, I know what the fuck you're talking about, uh, nobody's fucking stupid here, we all know what's happening, you fucked another guy, you don't want to admit it, so go fuck yourself, and she kept telling me, yeah, it's so fucked up because she tried telling me, well, you don't get it. And it's like, bitch, I do get it. I've been cheated on before, but I'm not. And she's like, well, you don't get it. You don't understand it. I don't have to understand it because I'm not dumb enough to fucking cheat on somebody. Damn. I told her this. I literally said that. I was like, That's I'm not dumb enough. I've never heard someone actually say. Yeah, and I'm like, I'm not because I'm not <laughs> dumb enough to cheat on somebody. And then she's like, she's like, well, you don't understand. It's like, why the fuck would I understand? Literally, I. You know what? You know what? You know what I feel like right now. How I, ever since she cheated on um, Martez, I felt like a fucking failure as a counselor because I it was my job to keep the relationship together, and it was in for some reason I had the fault of that, and I told her that I was like you know you can't really expect someone to not like understand you know you cheated on the guy, and then this is where this is where the topic comes into play. She tried saying okay, so the whole thing was like you know her fucking Jay. So. Now she's trying to say, well, Jay forced me, you know, you don't understand, Jay forced me and stuff, he he pinned me down, you know, I couldn't get out. It's like, Olivia, I have the text messages of what you said way beforehand, I know exactly what you're trying to do, you're trying to basically try to think that, hey, you know, he's black, I'm white, and so let's just blame it on the black guy, and make sure that, hey, we can just slide this on the rug. She's trying to basically, she's trying to basically say, Oh, um, I'm basically not cheating on Martez. I got raped. That's basically what she's trying to say. And she's going to try... Gonna, she's going to bring the Black Lives Matter, like, protests and everything right here. Like, I swear, it's going to cause something like that. It's going to be on the news and be all that shit. Even though we have the proof that she's lying bullshit, right? Yeah. Um, we have the we have the total proof. Mr. Bacon knows about that. Martez knows about the text messages. So she tries to say anything about Jay trying to rape her or anything, which is really like extremely false 
Because I had the text messages of her talking about how she, you know, enjoyed that shit. Yeah, like, she, they fucked. And she, she doesn't want to, she doesn't want to admit it. And each time she tries to bring a problem, like, oh, why is our relationship going bad? And somebody calls around her on bullshit. She thinks by, oh, by throwing somebody in jail and could ruin their entire fucking life. Oh, that should really cover up the fact that she didn't cheat on Martez. No, she fucking did. That that's that's selfish and that's evil. I consider that murder right. That's that's attempted murder right there because you're you're ruining somebody's life. You never know. And I ah, uh, it's bad. I mean, like, for her to have that mindset is just fucked up beyond recognition. Trouble, man. <laughs> I'm sorry. Do all my people who watch my channel, and this is to Alan too. I'm not no, no not to Alan as in like Alan you should follow this advice. I'm saying to Alan, you know, like for your fans too, for all who is listening, don't do don't play that shit off. You know, don't cheat, don't do anything bad. And if you if you cheated on someone, suffer the fucking consequences of your action because doing some doing something like that is complete bullshit. And I bet you there are thousands of black guys out there in fucking jail because they fucked a white woman and then she tries to say, oh, he raped me. If you don't get your ugly ass out of my motherfucking face, I'll beat your motherfucking ass shit. I'll make sure I go to jail for something. I'm gonna put like hashtag black lives matter. Yeah, hashtag black lives motherfucking matter, shit. Just went in completely. <laughs> Tug life, let's go. Well, that's true. Troy has a hundred percent completely good point. Don't cheat. Obviously, retards and motherfuckers who are really fucking stupid, like you know damn well the consequences, and you know damn well that you can't like. No, bitch, I'm not cheating on you, even though you fucking are. But legit, don't hide that shit. It's obviously one or the other. Thank don't you. Be like. Oh no, she will be my side chick just because I have extra time on my hands. No, use that extra time to be with your girl. Use that extra time to do something for your girl, and then or use that time to do, do something for yourself. Like legit, don't concentrate on other hoes who are trying to get on your dick. You know, let them be jealous over your relationship. That's something you should be proud about, not something you should try to fuck up. Ah, oh, fuck it. Maybe Especially yourself. for you young viewers out there. Don't be fucking retarded and be like, yeah, boys, like, you know, let's go fucking cheat because it's, you know, it's gonna fucking make you look cool. You know, oh, you know, you can fuck other 50 other bitches. Uh, you probably have an STD by now. True that, true that. Five. Just don't do it. You know, it's gonna be like, oh, okay, so guys can go fuck 50 bitches and they'll be called a player. And then girls go fuck another guy and then call the whore. See, we've already had a debate on this, I think, like, how many years ago? Like, 1700? I don't fucking know. Where <laughs> women were actually given the right to vote and given the right to have the same amount of rights as men. So, I mean, it's really fucking stupid on how you're going to take that action, like, into your own hands, even though, you know, you're supposed to be respected the same way, but you're not. So, you guys are still in that old shit. Grow the fuck up. This is a new generation, not the past. You know, get your head out of the fucking gutter. You know, save this shit clean so your dick will be clean and only have one pussy on that dick and that's how it always should be mm -hmm. so up legit it's not hard thank you Michelle. i should clap for you too because you were going in too yes that that this <laughs> this is a talk that really yeah, needs this, this is a talk that everyone should be listening to thank you it's not right it is not it is never ever ever right even if it's like Oh, my boyfriend cheated on me, so it was okay that I cheated on him. Like, no, bitch, you're supposed to be the better person by showing him that, bitch, I don't cheat, but you do. So that makes you the failure and you the bigger person. True and that. supposed to be like that. Like, to be honest, I've been cheated on as well. I know, it's a surprise. I'm just kidding. But <laughs> <laughs> almost everyone in the world gets cheated on. If you're lucky enough, you don't get cheated on. Simple as that. You know, you know how to pick your arrows, and probably you guys knew how to pick each other if you're still with that person. But, you, you know, um, it's really just grow up. You know what's going to happen, and you know that you're going to get caught. And if you don't get caught, well, then, bitch, go join the CIA because they need people like you. Just play. Don't you just grow the fuck up. But, <laughs> um, <laughs> like, I'm not trying to hit on y'all, but it's true, and it's not my job to judge. It's God's job to judge you.
for what you guys have been doing. And then if you haven't been doing, if you haven't cheated, good for you. Keep that up. Keep up that good ass work because mm-hmm. you know you learn from what you do right, and you also learn from your, from your mistakes. But mistakes hurt more than your accomplishments. And sometimes your accomplishments may not be the best, but you're at least doing something. Thank you. I mean. For you people out there who have been cheated on, you have learned your own lesson to remember keep your eyes out because, you know, them bitches be playing on your ass. Bitches be tripping. But always keep your ass on alert. That's my word. Yeah. Bunny out. Bunny out. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that was good, man. That was good. Yeah. But this Once we had for this conversation he's probably going to yeah uh my video is gonna probably be more cut than yours because yours is like a constant record and i've been like missing little bits and chunks of my recording by the way sorry about that guys if i'm missing bits and chunks of my thing but yeah this is a thing we as youtubers should talk about and i know other people have talking about it but if you see this video and you're getting a piece of this comment below if you had something like that or you happen to be the cheater, which probably you're not even going to comment on that at all. But, uh, <laughs> it's embarrassing. yeah, it's really embarrassing. It's something you don't want to really like, oh, yeah, by the way, I cheated on it. Unless you like, you think that's a cool thing. Unless you're the big guy and you have learned from your mistakes and then you know that you aren't going to cheat again, then you know what? You know, be that person to be like, yeah, I cheated, but now I know that I'm not going to do it anymore. Yeah, be the bigger man. <laughs> but, yeah. Anyway, guys, if you like this video, please leave that thumbs up. Subscribe if you are new to my channel. Uh, stay active on my channel, please. <laughs> uh, like, favorite, and subscribe. Peace, Bunny out. And this was Bunny with Annoying Llama. Peace, guys. And same for here, guys. My name is Annoying Llama, and this has been a talk. This has been something that my friend Bunny... Uh, on, but, um, yeah, by the way, Bunny, you want to say anything before you go? Um, pay attention to the message that you aren't supposed to cheat, especially that Black Lives Matter, because you're no different just because you have a fucking different skin color makes you better than anyone else. But everyone's important as much as you are. Don't ever think that you're better than someone else just because you can fucking color some piece of paper better than someone else. So yeah, um, that's it. <laughs> <Funny doubt. laughs> that's good. And yeah, same thing for here, guys. Whatever, whatever the fuck Alan just said, which I understood every single word of it. But you know, that that's something you really, really need to watch out for. So, all those, put a comment below of what you think about this. Um, rate, comment, and subscribe. Oh, and, and, and <laughs> we will soon make another video with each other. Do not worry. And I'm, I hope that this next video will either be with also CP Stud 7. Um, if not, with not Super Stud, then it'll just be me and Ochoa. Um, I hope. If Ochoa can't do it, then it'll just be me. I don't know. We'll just... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I hope it'll be with Ochoa because we have awesome, we make awesome, awesome videos with Ochoa and Super Stud. And when we're all together, I swear it's going to be the most funniest, most awesome conversations that we have with each other. And it'll be awesome, guys. So just keep watch out for those videos. Sweet, sweet, sweet. So yeah. My name is Noe Lama, and don't forget, guys, say Lama. Peace out. No.